and welcome to this time knee muscle anatomy we're gonna start with our oh, I almost thought I pressed stopped recording we're gonna start with our anterior compartment which I'm gonna sit up um, which is gonna be our quad muscles right here so starting with the big muscle down the middle uh, rectus morris um, it's gonna have it's gonna originate um, on the um, anterior inferior uh, iliac spine uh, so right here so right here will be our anterior uh, superior iliac spine and then a bit down there is going to be our um, anterior inferior iliac spine and it's going to go all the way down um, it's going to go through the not through the patella but over the patella and it's going to attach to our um, tibial tuberosity and then we're gonna the action that it's gonna do is the knee extension so if you would please extend your knee yes just like that you don't have to twist it just extend it yeah yeah and flex flex <laughs> flex your knee uh, and then extend it again just so you can see that motion again <laughs> perfect flawless anyways <laughs> next we're gonna do um <laughs> Vastus lateralis, and from its name, we're gonna know it's located on the lateral side. Vastus lateralis is gonna start on the uh, greater trochanter, uh, and it's gonna go down all the way down and attach uh, down at the tibial tuberosity, just like all of the uh, quad muscles will. Um, spoiler. Uh, and again, the action is gonna be knee extension. Ta da! Um, <laughs> next we're gonna have vastus medialis this time on the medial side uh, and vastus medialis is gonna originate on the intra um, trochanteric line and the uh, in the back linea aspera um, so that's gonna be very deep I'm not gonna show that uh, but it's gonna go down and attach again it's gonna go down and attach at the tibial tuberosity okay uh, and again, the action as with all of these is um, ta da, knee extension. Uh, but with vastus medialis, um, so our vastus medialis is going to go down, and this part of it um, uh, that I'm pointing out is uh, vastus medialis oblique. It's called that way because of the muscle fibers. They're uh, um, positioned in an oblique way, in a slanted way, and the action of the VMO, or vastus medialis oblique, is to actually lock our knee. So if the patient will extend her knee, uh, we can see the VMO right here uh, flexing uh, and locking the knee in place so I can't move it. That's our VMO, thank you. Uh, and finally, we're going to have our uh, vastus intermedius, again going down the middle, but this time it's going to be under our rectus femoris and under all of these other muscles and the origin is going to be the anterior uh, and a, a bit lateral surface of the femur itself so the bone uh, uh, of the thigh uh, and it's going to go down and uh, attach again at our um, tibial tuberosity Ta-da! and finally the action is knee extension voila uh, perfect so next we're going to have the lateral compartment um, it's going to be on the lateral side, so if the patient would uh, tilt just a little bit, uh, perfect. So on the lateral compartment, we're going to have our, um, sorry, I'm going to uh, pan out a little bit so you guys can see better. We're going to have our tens tensor fasciolata starting on the iliac, oops, sorry, the iliac crest right here, uh, and going down, turning into the IT band or iliotibial band, and attaching uh, all the way down at the Gerdes tubercles. Uh, can you... Uh, Show a bit of your knee so I can find your uh, Gerdes tubercle. Thank you very much. So it's going to go all the way down from really crest uh, along the lateral side, turning into a T band and attaching at uh, Gerdes tubercle on the lateral side. Uh, and perfect. And um, it's a hip abductor, um, but in the knee, it plays a role that it prevents the knee from collapsing inward. Uh, next we have our sartorius. Sartorius will start at, again, um, with the lateral side here, um, the anterior superior leg spine, or just um, aces. It's this bump over here. There it is. And it's going to go down all the way across and attach at uh, pes and serine right here. This pa patient's pes and serine uh, appears to be swollen for some reason. <laughs> uh, and so it's going to go across, and its action is going to be to um, uh, just uh, cross the knee. Just 
just like that. Uh, but uh, in more descriptive terms, uh, so the knee is gonna flex, so you're gonna f uh, flex it, it's gonna abduct a little bit, so it's gonna go out, and uh, it's gonna internally rotate. Um, those are the three actions. Uh, next we have the medial compartment, gracilis, another bone, another, not bone, another muscle that's gonna attach at the pesant region, but it's gonna start all the way uh, up there uh, at the pubis bone, and it's gonna go all the way down on the, the medial side, and it's gonna attach to the uh, pesantry, just like Sartorius. And uh, uh, Gracilis' um, action is hip adduction, so bringing the hips together. Um, just like that. <laughs> uh, next we have the posterior compartment, so we're gonna have to flip over. Um, okay, for posterior compartment, we're gonna have our uh, biceps femoris. Biceps femoris is gonna be more on the uh, lateral side, so this is gonna be our biceps femoris. It has two heads. Uh, it's gonna attach at, and all of the muscles uh, in the back of the hamstrings are gonna. Oh, forgot to mention was the quad muscles. They're uh, the decelerators because they're at the front, and hamstrings are gonna be accelerators. Okay, back to the. So laterally here is going to be the biceps femoris, um, uh, at, um, originating at ischial tuberosity, just like all other hamstring muscles. And um, our biceps femoris is going to attach at the fibular head. So right here on the lateral side, fibular head is going to attach over there. Okay, next we have our uh, semitendinosus. Uh, we have semitendinosus and semimembranosus both going down here. Now semimembranosus is going to be more medial um, and semimembranosus is going to attach at the uh, 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 medial tibial condyle this time, um, so on the medial side. Uh, but our semitendinosus is going to go all the way down and attach at um, pesensory. And that's actually our presenting group. We have three muscles um, uh, that make it up. We have uh, sartorius, gracilis, and we have, um, finally, the last one, semitendinosus. So those three make up pesenserinus. And, oh, and the uh, action for biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus is all uh, knee flexion. So if we could get our knees flexed, ta-da! Yep, perfect. Even further, let's go full range of motion. Voila. Um, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, uh, finally we have um, our gastrocnemius, which is a calf muscle, um, and it plays a role, so first of all, it originates, uh, it starts out because it has uh, two heads on the medial and lateral epicondyles, and it's gonna go down and attach at the calcaneal tuberosity, um, but it's responsible for uh, also knee flexion, so it's gonna flex the knee. Ba perfect. Um, sorry, it's raining and we have some eggs in the kitchen. And finally we have the popliteus, um, here in the popliteal fossa. It's gonna uh, originate on the uh, lateral aspect of, um, of the tibial condyle area. And it's gonna go um, all the way out, um, not out, but across and attach down to the soleal line of the tibia, which is located on the back. And the, the job of popliteus is to unlock the knee, so the opposite of the VMO. So whereas VMO locks the knee, uh, popliteus unlocks it. Yep, just that slight motion. Um, and uh, yeah, all of those are um, the muscles of the knee. Thank you.